Marriage is the promise of hope between two people who honor each other as individuals, who wish to unite their lives and share the future together. It was always you. Dear Jason, where do I even begin to tell you how much I love you? Some may say five years is a short time, but in that time we have accomplished so much together that anything before you seems like a lifetime ago. I'm so lucky to have met a man like you. You always take my breath away even when you might not realize it. You are the most caring, most thoughtful, selfless person I've ever met. You have the biggest heart. You really are my best friend, the one person I can confide in and share my thoughts without judgment, and the one that can make me laugh like no other. I will soon be your wife and hope that I can show you as much love every day for the rest of our lives as you've shown me. Hand in hand on the journey of life and love, may our path together lead to every happiness our two hearts desire. Baby girl, today is the big day, the day I can officially call you my wife. I can't wait to start our journey together. We don't know when life will take us, but I know we will do it hand in hand. Stay calm and see you at the altar. Love always, your husband, Jason. Samantha and Jason have come together to learn the best of what each has to offer appreciating their differences, indeed strengthened by them, and confirming that being together is far better than being apart from one another. Samantha, Jason, a marriage, like any journey, is all about simple steps, sometimes taken side by side, sometimes one following the other, but always together, like a dance. So may the vows that you make today be that first step, as you dance the dance of lovers as husband and wife, and may your love be rediscovered daily as you journey together in this adventure called marriage, one step at a time. Samantha, I humbly give you my hand and my heart. I make these promises to you for our life together. And I you. Jason, I will treasure your individuality, being mindful that your strengths are different from mine and that we complement one another through these differences. I promise Samantha to care for you through the good and the bad. I promise you, Jason, to cherish the bond we share together. I promise to catch you if you fall. And carry you when you don't have the strength. I promise that we will always be a team. And if we go down, we go down together. At times, you are a mirror to my soul. Other times, you are my perfect compliment. In your love, I have found a home for you. And through our travels, I promise to be a witness to your life. And I promise to be a witness to yours. It is my honor and a great delight to be the first one to introduce as husband and wife, Jason and Samantha, partners in life for life. Welcome and thank you for being here at this celebration of their love for one another. And perfect is for him, because they are very similar, but not to the T. She's beautiful, loving, caring, likes cars, bonus. That's why you were able to buy your dream car, even if the license plate says her name on it. Sam, you are truly an inspiration to me. You are my big sister, my number one supporter, and most importantly, my best friend. I could not be happier for you. Jason's friendly smile and funny jokes made us almost instant friends. It wasn't hard to see the tremendous amount of love he has for my sister, and over the years, he hasn't wavered. And Jason, I just wanna say, although today you have officially become my brother, 
I have truly considered you a part of my family for a very long time. I couldn't dream of someone better for my sister to marry. I love you both so much. I wish you the best and congratulations. Cheers. I will say this about Jason. He has really made a smart decision. Getting married today. Jason and Sam Morin, we wish them much happiness, love, prosperity, and children. I am very proud of the young woman you have become. It seems like just yesterday you blessed my life, but in fact, 27 and a half years have gone by. It would be foolish to say that it was all a bed of roses. But it was and always will be very fabulous and memorable. The quality I love the most about you is the love that you have for Samantha. Love is a temporary madness. It erupts like volcanoes and then subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether your roots have so entwined together that it is inconceivable that you should ever part because this is what love is. Love is not breathlessness. It is not excitement. It is not the declaration of eternal passion. This is just being in love, which any fool can do. Love itself is what is left over when being in love has burned away. And this is both an art and a fortunate accident. Those that truly love have roots that grow towards each other underground. And when all the pretty blossoms have fallen from the branches, they find that they are one tree and not two. Sam and Jason, to me it is clear that you two have become one single indestructible tree. 